Trisha Paytas. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my sewer. And first of all, can we appreciate the lighting, the, the filters, the everything, and the avatar, of course. I mean, girl. Besides that, I think, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the They Both Die at the End movie part one. If it reaches a certain amount of likes and views and stuff, I will make the part two. If not, it will just, you know, be, exist there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and this video that you're watching right now might be the last one of the year, I'm pretty sure. Because it is coming on the ter- oh girl, what? Because it is coming on the 31st. There's so much stuff I want to say about the things that had happened this year. Especially because I have not been uploading as constantly as I used to uh, these previous years. And it is very, very likely that next year I will upload like most nothing at all. At least not in this channel. Not even I am sure what I'll be doing next year. <laughs> so um, stay tuned for updates, I guess. So as you may already know, Royal Hike is not in their peak era. And honestly, neither am I, you know. But it's okay because everyone has their ups and downs. I'm just wishing this low was a little higher. But today I have a small little guide about how to fix royal high <laughs> okay wait let me reformulate that uh not how to fix or i mean how to save how to how to do better so if you've seen my last videos you know you, you simply know when you know, you know. You know that the community has something to say about Royal Hike, but the developer team doesn't really want to listen or do much about it, you know? And all of that is causing uh, some a lot of players going away from the game. And I am absolutely not relevant. And I am absolutely nobody to tell like the developers how they should be managing their game. However, if the game was mine, this is what I would do to do better. So I made a small seven steps uh, sort of guide for myself to make this video. Okay, first of all, I have no idea about how to develop a game or like what does it take or absolutely anything at all. But let's put ourselves in the hypothetical case that I knew how to do it and that I own Royal High. I don't know. I bought it. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine having the money to do that, but sure. Okay, step one. Accept that Royal High is not in their peak era right now and work with that. So besides the fact that you cannot change like what has already been released because the community and like the player base has already seen it. For example, you cannot unrelease the Campus 3. I mean, you can, but that wouldn't be very smart, you know? So I would just full on like have my reputation era. <laughs> well, not my reputation era, my cancelled era. If something is not working out, it is for a reason and... I think the first step ever should be listening to the community, you know? If they have complaints, it is because of something that the developer team has done in the game. Or, well, actually to the game. So, second step, fire everyone. No, I'm just kidding, that's a, that's a joke, don't, don't cancel me yet. But what I would apply is this temporary system called Fixing Team. In case you guys didn't know, most of the- girl, most of the developer team is conformed by teenagers, you know, minors, who have their own lives, their own school, their own college, their own responsibilities. And I don't really know how big the developer team is right now, but apparently it is not as big as it should because it took three years and a half to make half of the new school. So this fixing team I was talking about, it will be separated in four sections, all right? New school, accessories, seasonal stuff, and forever stuff. Each area is gonna be working on a certain problematic inside of the game. I mean, those are the four main things, like, besides the the social media management team and, like, all of that. But, like, we are focusing on in-game stuff right now. So, first of all, all of the areas have to listen to the community and their complaints. Because if they are speaking up, it is for some reason. There's so much that the community has said that I can't even remember it because I have not been active. <laughs> but the fact that there is this much to say about the game is just, it's kind of weird, you know? It shows that they just hear you, but like they won't really do much about it. So these are some things that I would do. I would either fix the masculine body they're doing right now, just bring it back to what it was before, until I have this scaling system that we've been talking about for some time now. Because if you don't do that, then um, the guys will just, you know, look like twinks until it is done, you know? Either that or not play at all, which is most likely the case. Then for each set that, like, changes your body, I would add uh, a couple different body types. 
I'm pretty sure that's what the scaling system is for. I'm hoping it is. You know, the concept sounds cool, actually, but the fact that they are just removing the masculine um, stuff without it being tested and correctly implemented is not right, not good. Then look at this comparison between masculine hairstyles and feminine hairstyles. There is a difference, right? So keeping in mind that the developer team is now bigger, there is more people to work on those accessories, so I would add more masculine hairstyles. Even if it's not as much as like the feminine hairstyles, just like a little, like a bunch more. And you don't even need to hire professionals to do it because the community has a lot of talented artists who make concepts, who make 3D models about it. You can't even like text them and pay them a certain amount either on Robux or USD or I don't know to implement that in the game. There's just people who would be honored to have that in the game, to have their art inside of the game. Then it would be cool to have more black hairstyles because Royal Hike loves to market themselves as inclusive and there's literally almost no Afro hairstyles. And again, there are a lot of concepts in the community on twitter there's so much then uh fixing the kimono they have talked about it uh i do not see a new kimono yet and lastly you have to do something about the diamonds so uh the stuff is already expensive you cannot change that you can just like bring the prices down to what they were before i know they have more toggles and stuff but like the prices are insane so since you cannot bring the prices down then the diamonds have to lose value. And how do they lose value? You win more diamonds. Something that's weird about Royal High right now is that there's almost no way to farm. Especially when you have no multipliers at all. I think people with multipliers should have their advantage because that's what they paid for. It is like Robux, like real life money, not just like some currency in the game. However, people without multipliers just can't do absolutely anything at all. And like even with multiplayers, even for me, it is like almost impossible to farm. You have to spend hours doing quests to get a couple diamonds. So me personally, I would uh, bring back the diamonds in the campus too, here over here, and even add more diamonds, you know, either that or make the quests give you more diamonds or both why not so yeah it is almost impossible to afford anything in royal hike without spending hours on it so that's what i would fix then for uh this is work for the new school team it would be divided in only two phases everything that's out would be phase one because it's already out then for phase two it would be everything that's missing it can be either that or if you're gonna continue doing the phases at least post them consistently the developer team has been talking a lot about sacrificing uh seasonal updates for the new school and the outcome so far is not 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 it it is pretty visually like as a map as a showcase map but there's not really much to do besides dressing up so my idea would be new or reworked realms each year for seasonal stuff adding mini games that can be played alone and in groups that make you win diamonds or the currency that is on each season for example for halloween it would be the the candies for christmas you could add this currency called snowflakes or something like that for easter the eggs for spring i don't know flowers or just diamonds like whatever just new mini games that make you win something and then uh girl <laughs> the forever stuff team so we need stuff that keeps still in the game and like keeps the people entertained and like actually wanting to play so me personally I would add a story mode. I don't really know if that's considered, but Royal Hike has so much potential for a story mode, and I think that would be like the coolest thing ever. A lot of people would play it, because it at least gives you a mechanic inside of the game that you can do. As a story mode, it can be doing quests, finding stuff hidden in places, solving puzzles, taking care of creatures. It could even be fighting creatures, like, <laughs> I don't know, that'd be really, really cool. Then Sunset Island. This is Call Me Haley's idea, but I uh, saw her tweet that pretty much said that everybody in Sunset Island should be able to access every accessory inside of the game. Because it is obvious that people who have more accessories have an unfair advantage in Sunset Island. I mean, not every time, because some of us just <laughs> lack sense of style. But yeah, I would also suggest new forever games where you can win diamonds, rework the chicken legs, mermaid tails, and old skirts. How long have we been talking about it? I do not have any mermaid tails because I have not been playing for that long, but I have all the chicken legs and I don't know, I think there's something missing there. Then as a YouTuber, 
it would be so cool to have a meet and greet realm where you can fit more people and it is a little less chaotic than other realms and most importantly involving the community inside of the game as i said before people on twitter have a lot of wonderful concepts either for hairstyles for sets for accessories and they would die to be inside of the game but yeah that's my suggestions and lastly listen to the community again for a constant improvement you have to listen to the people that you are selling your product to so when they have something to say about it listen to it and do something about it so once again i am a nobody to tell people or the dev team how they should handle their game you know but i mean there's obviously an issue here and if you don't want to fix it then well good luck so 2024 nice there's gonna be a lot of changes going on in my life next year where it is my last year of high school the sport i'm practicing the project i'm working on and that'll bring a lot of changes in my channel or in my content i'll do the announcements in future videos and i hope you guys enjoy what i have prepared thank you so much for all the support and all of the views all of the likes all of the comments that you have given me this year and i was enchanted to meet you see you next year bye